Hello everyone, here is a quick video. I just want to show you a slate bed pool table, UK style. This is seven foot in size. And I want to show you the difference in pool balls. And obviously you can get uh, one sixteenth snooker balls as well as two inch UK balls as well as the two and quarter inch American balls. But I just wanted to show you the problems you may encounter if you try and use different size balls on a UK pool table. So without a further ado, let's have a look what we've got here. So obviously here you can see I've managed to move the slate bed um, over to the right a little bit. It's advisable you try and do this with two people um, as you could drop it. Um, so obviously I advise you highly never to do this alone. With that being said, um, obviously I've attached this to the roof, um, the actual um, lid, and moved the bed over. Now, the problem I've encountered here is this particular bar here, which is stopping um, full-size balls going through. So obviously here we have um, two and a quarter inch American. Here we have one sixteenth. Um, snooker table ball and here we have a UK ball which is 2 inch different sizes obviously for different tables but I wanted to come up with a way of using American balls on my table however what I've experienced is um, that you can use it on nearly all the pockets um, the middle one here um, the top ones you can physically pop them in the pockets and it works fine however for some bizarre reason unknown to me um, this bar here is restricting the American balls going through as I will demonstrate so let's have a look what we're doing here so as you can see uh, we have three balls here um, I think what I'm probably best doing is do it in reverse order so here you can see we have the UK 2 inch ball, the snooker table ball which is 1 16th which is only a tiny bit bigger than the UK balls and obviously the American balls are much bigger at 2 and a quarter inch. So without further ado I will show you um, it running through the system and you'll be able to hear the ball drop. Um, where it's dropping is a compartment where the ball return is. Um, I've removed the um, the lid which uh, contains the running system for the actual uh, pool table as you can see here this is it. Um, I've removed the coin system so obviously it will obviously so the bigger balls will flow through onto uh, the bottom of the table but I just wanted to illustrate the issue you may experience on a UK table. Obviously this will apply for American tables, but uh, let's have a look. So, we move that out of the way. So this is the UK ball. Obviously that will run through uh, with no problems. As you can hear, it's dropped and that's fine, no problems. Um, here is a slightly bigger ball and uh, this will run through no problem either. There you go, no problem with that. However, when we try a bigger ball, like the American ball, we experience a problem. Hopefully you'll be able to see this in the video. So, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's stopped just there. Um, so this supporting beam here is preventing that ball going through. Um, however, if I show you um, that on another pocket, just move this over. Um, this is the middle pocket. I'll put this through again. Um, what's happening is it's missing that supporting beam there. We put that through. And that goes to the uh, 
bottom of the table as well, no problems. So, so what we're getting out of this video is that in the um, top two, uh, four pockets you will be able to pop American pool balls quite easily, no problems, on a UK table that is. However, the two bottom pockets won't accept the box. Um, I suppose a way around this is possible, possibly to put some foam in those two bottom um, pockets so obviously you don't have to go to the palaver of moving the slate bed like I've done here um, but I just want to illustrate um, that you should be fine with snooker balls on your regular um, if you want to use full size regulation snooker balls um, on your uh, UK pool table you will be fine no problems um, you can obviously certainly use your two inch balls no problems at all however if you want to practice using um, American balls uh, which are two inch and a quarter uh, you will experience a problem like we have here now you might be asking yourself why do I want to use American balls on a UK table? Well, the, the answer to that question really is very similar to anyone who wants to use um, Chinese eight ball tables and use American balls on, that, on those. It's all about um, experimenting as well as enhancing your skills because clearly putting a larger ball in a smaller pocket uh, is more challenging and makes it more skillful to do and I suspect if you can master that skill um, you will be head and shoulders above anyone in your local area um, so this is, the, this is what professionals do you know they practice um, with bigger small balls, tight pockets um, you may see some videos out there where they put um, cushion inserts into the actual pockets to make them smaller something that is quite often done um, to challenge themselves, especially those of you who are watching this video from America um, your pockets on your um, pool tables are very large and to be honest with you pot potting in the bottom and top pocket seems relatively easy too easy in fact um, and if you compare that to snooker which are a lot tighter and harder to pot. This is the reason um, why um, professionals, you know, do put inserts into those American table pockets to make it tighter, to make it harder for them. Because ultimately, if you go to a competition, you want to make sure you are top of your game and able to perform. And to do that, you need to, you know, up your skills a bit more to make it more challenging. So, I just wanted to show you. The problem you might experience having a UK table wanting to use American balls. So, so to recap, in the top pocket, two pockets, um, you can use your American balls no problem. In the middle pockets, you'll be able to use your American balls no problem. However, in the bottom two pockets, there's an issue. Um, I'm not sure how this issue could be resolved. Um, I suppose it's possible you could think about um, grinding a little bit under the metal support where the balls would pass so there would be room to pass under um, that's a possibility however would it would it actually damage stru structural integrity of the table if you did that I don't know um, it's something I am going to think about but I just wanted to <coughs> show you more or less uh, an issue you could have if you want to use American balls on your UK table. Um, any comments uh, you feel free to subscribe to my channel um, but let me know what you think. Do you think there's a way around this? Um, anyone out there who has some useful hints and tips about using American balls on your UK pool table please let me know I'm all ears, um, but you know, it's an ongoing journey for me, learning, um, at some point I'll probably create a separate channel dedicated to playing pool, but let me know in the comments what you think, do you think 
uh, playing American balls on the UK table is viable? Um, will it increase your skill set? Do you think it is a positive thing to do? I hope to see you in the future and have a nice evening.